What is going on, people? Welcome back to Retail Factor. It is October, finally. Thank God it is my favorite month out of the entire year. Uh, obviously, I'm a big horror fan, so naturally, October is like one of my favorite times of the year. And, uh, you know, I was thinking long and hard. I'm just like, what do I want to do in October this year? And pretty much what I want to do is I just want to play tons of horror games. And I want to watch a bunch of horror movies. And I just want to immerse myself with the, the Halloween spirit. So what we're calling it is the Horrible Halloween Horror-a-thon. Gotta, gotta get that alliteration going. And so basically what that means for my YouTube channel is we're gonna be posting long form horror and horror themed video game playthroughs every week throughout the course of October. And also I thought it would be fun to go through and list my top five favorite video game horror franchises. I thought about doing like a top five favorite horror games but I realized they're all gonna be from the same series. So, so let's just go through and list my favorite franchises. This is obviously a just personal list. You know, this isn't, this isn't like an objective list by any means. These are just my personal favorites. And for number five, I gotta give it to Silent Hill. You know, Silent Hill would probably be rated a lot higher on other people's lists, but I've only played a couple of games in the series. Uh, one of them is Silent Hill 2, which is probably the most significant game in the franchise. And, uh, you know, it's really good. One thing that they definitely nail in pretty much every Silent Hill game is the atmosphere and the just the creepy-ass ambience. And I was talking about it on a podcast recently is that, you know, Silent Hill, they definitely, they definitely nail the story and the symbolism. And there's, there's definitely tons to unpack and to analyze with what is really happening with the story, which is something I really appreciate. I just wanted to see what would happen. <laughs> For number four, I gotta give it to the House of the Dead series. Now this is probably a big surprise to a lot of people. Uh, you know, this list, one thing I definitely kind of realized was I was putting it together and kind of going through it in my head is that not only do I like the games with, you know, that are scary and that have that, you know, creepy horror atmosphere really, really spot on, but I like games that are fucking fun to play. And goddamn, House of the Dead absolutely is a blast to play. And I'm talking about House of the Dead 1, 2, 3, 4, Overkill, and even the spin-off game Zombie Revenge. These games are absolutely hokey and cheesy, and <laughs> they're just ridiculous, but that's kind of the charm to it. There's, there's like a campiness to it. The dialogue has some of the worst delivery in any video game ever. There was nothing we could do. It obviously helps that I'm a big fan of light gun shooters, and I have tons of memories of going to the arcade and playing these games back when I was a kid. Nostalgia is obviously playing a big role here, but it's actually still fun to go back and play even today. For number three, I have to give it to Dead Space. Dead Space 1 and 2 in particular are some of the best modern horror games, hands down, by far. Dead Space 1 has actually aged really, really well. The game is 10 years old, and it still looks and plays amazing. You know, and speaking of atmosphere, like, Dead Space absolutely nails it. It really harkens back to the movie Alien, and just the sense of just isolation, and you're just by yourself and completely fucking helpless in the middle of space. You know, and then Dead Space 3 didn't quite hit the mark, and of course the studio who made the Dead Space games got closed, so the future of this series is really up in the air, which is super sad. My number two pick is probably the biggest surprise on the entire list, and that is The Evil Within. Cue the gasps. These are, you know, the newest games on the list, and I've had to, I've had some time to kind of dwell on it and think about it, and goddamn, I fucking love The Evil Within series. I actually like the second one even more than the first one, and I think when the second one came out, you know, it got, it got decent reviews, and then, I think it got kind of drowned out by all of the other major titles that were coming out at the time, but I absolutely think that these games are some of the most slept on horror games out there. 100%. The monster and creature designs are super unique, super terrifying. It's from the godfather of horror video games, Shinji Mikami, and you can definitely see all of the influences of his past games within The Evil Within. 
definitely in Resident Evil. There's even a sequence in the first game where you go back to what's basically a recreation of the Resident Evil 1 mansion. It's fucking awesome. The weapons are super satisfying. The gameplay is just so fucking tight and it's so much fun. This is one of the most fun to play horror games on this entire list. This is another one where I think the future of this series is a little uncertain. I don't know if the sales were 100% there, but if this is it for The Evil Within, then that to me is super sad, but I think this is a game that over time, I think people will look back on super fondly. Shit. I knew I... What? I don't think my number one pick is going to be a huge surprise to just about anybody who subscribes to my channel. That's obviously Resident Evil. The Resident Evil series has been the top dog in the horror genre for like two decades now, and it's managed to reinvent itself numerous times. And even with all the reinventions, I think even going back to the original tank control, old school, pre-rendered background Resident Evil games, those still have aged incredibly well. I think they're still super fun to go back and play even 20 years later. Oh fuck, he's done dude! And then obviously Resident Evil 4 is one of the most influential games almost of all time. Really pioneered the third person perspective and how combat should be handled in that point of view. Some people think that it kind of, you know, led Resident Evil down a, a strange kind of action-based kind of path that, you know, wasn't really true to the horror genre. But then came along Resident Evil 7, and Resident Evil 7 was a risky-ass game to make. It was a big-budget horror game that had no recognizable Resident Evil characters in it, but it was absolutely the scariest the franchise has ever been. And even from the first-person perspective, absolutely brought back the Resident Evil core gameplay to its roots. Like as I said, if I was making like a top 5 favorite horror video games of all time, my list would definitely have Resident Evil Remake, probably at number 1, Resident Evil 2 would be in there, Resident Evil 4, and Resident Evil 7. That's why we had to go with the franchise list, because Resident Evil, these are my favorite fucking video games of all time. Why'd he bite me? <laughs> the voice actor, why'd he bite me? But anyways, of course it has to be Resident Evil, but let me know what you guys think. What are your favorite horror video game series or games of all time? And stay tuned this month for the horrible Halloween Horror-a-thon. First up, we are starting with Shadows of the Damned, which is a crazy Grasshopper Suda 51 game produced by Shinji Mikami, who we were just talking about. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching. Peace out.